Hello everybody, this is Wireless Atari. We're going to do another pickups video. Uh, basically this is all just games, actually. Um, yeah, I realize this is all just video games. I did pick up some other things. I'll show you them right now, actually. I was going to show the, you them at the end, but let's go ahead and do it now. Um... This computer right here, it's a, I don't know all the specs of it, but it's a Windows 98, Intel Pentium 3, Dell Optiplex DX1, that's all I know about it. I might have some Linux uh, installed on it, maybe some DOS, that would be cool. I got it for 50 cents, as well as that TV in there that I got for free. So, that TV's kind of sucky though, I'm still looking for one about that size, but still better so yeah if y'all know anybody let me know um <clears throat> and i also got a sony web tv but i don't know where that thing is right now actually yeah i do it's right here sony web tv with all its cords and shit and a free bag yay um so here is i basically all right, so first of all, we'll go to the the stuff we got from gaming stores or rental stores or whatever. Um, actually, I think I already showed this Little Big Planet. I think I already showed that. But anyway, in case I didn't, this is from a. Um, I forget what this is from. This might be from either GameStop or uh, this is this is probably from Family Video. Let's take a look at the disc. They usually put their shit all over the discs, saying like "Keep this safe, used respectively," and they're putting shit all over it, so they're not really using it respectively themselves. But anyway, I think this is from Family Video, and I think I already showed that. So moving on. <laughs> We got GameStop stuff, which I know people hate GameStop, but, uh, for the time, I guess they're okay if you, I always ask them to make sure they have this case, like this case that I see in the store, on the shelves, give me that case, and they're like, okay, okay, we'll give it to you, you know, it's not like I shove a gun in their face, I mean, as far as you know, I don't shove a gun in their face, anyway, this is, Obviously, this is Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In this case is a little rickety. But, um, this was 35 bucks, Which is pretty overpriced, but, um, I heard it's a really good game. So, I'm gonna try it out sometime. Uh, another game, though. Eh, this was kind of an impulse buy. Tiny Barbarian DX for the Nintendo Switch. I don't have a Switch, but my friend Jacob does. Um. So, um, yeah, I played it on his. It's okay. It's okay. It's like 8-bit, maybe 16-bit style graphics. It's a 2D hack and slash kind of game. So it's pretty cool. And that was 30 bucks as well. Battleborn. This was 5 bucks. Or maybe 6 bucks or something like that. And I didn't... I guess it looks cool on the shelf to have another PS4 game, but it requires internet. And I have internet and all, but I don't have the... You know, it's kind of weird on the PS4 for me, and I don't have the online thing either, so, yeah. Then, um, there's this place called Arch City, Arch City Retro Gaming Company. Arch City Gaming Company, that's what it is. Arch City Gaming Company. <laughs> uh, I think it's just a one-man store. He's a really nice dude, I don't know his name, maybe I should ask him. This is kind of like advertising for him, I guess. Although, nobody really watches my shit. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is from his store. Uh, I might have talked about him before. But, uh, this is from his store. Uh, most of his stuff's pretty reasonably priced. Uh, there is a couple things out there. But he had a Virtual Boy for 175 bucks, Which, you know, you could get for a better price. But, for most part... That thing looked like it was working, and it looks like it was in mint condition. So 175 for that is pretty spot on for me. So I might go up there and buy it sometime. <laughs> um, 
So we got four um, uh, what are these called? I guess Game Boy cases. Uh, 50 cents each, so not bad. Two bucks total. Not bad. If they were any higher than that, then I wouldn't have bought any, but 50, bu uh, 50 cents each is not bad. We got this SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fire Team Bravo 2. That's a mouthful for six bucks. This is a hidden gem by far. Uh, SOCOM seems pretty cool, so I got it. Boombox, another hidden gem. I believe, I don't know how much this was. It couldn't have been too much. It probably was under five bucks, just under five bucks. And, uh, yeah. Another big hidden gem. I think Angry Birds had something to do with this. Or, um, no. I think Angry Birds was inspired by the Boom Blocks, which is a Steven Spielberg game, as you can see up there. So, yeah, there's that. That stuff. Um, this I think was two, maybe three bucks. The Sims 2 Castaway. This was at a garage sale, like a community garage sale at a church. Uh, there was another game that I got there too, but it turns out it wasn't in there. I think it was Mortal Kombat 4 for the PlayStation 1. And it turns out the disc wasn't in there. Uh, and I need to start getting into the habit of checking them. I'm doing that more and more now. Uh, now we have a big stack of games. Um, should we go through that real quick? That's all from thrift stores. And those are donations that I pretty much got for free. There you go. Uh, we'll get donations at the end. Uh, thrift stores. Well, first of all, here's some non-gaming stuff. Uh, just a... Frank Sinatra cassette. Pretty cool. Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Cool. Wonder how many volumes of that shit is in there. Sorry about that. Um, here's a big st a stack of games. Um, let's try and get the to the movie stuff first. I think this is it. Yeah. Movie stuff. We got South Park, the, com the complete second season. They had the 11th season up there, too, but it was way overpriced. It was like six bucks. This was only like two or three. So I got this instead. 21 Jump Street. Those are the only two DVDs I got. Those were from Salvation Army. Uh, 21 Jump Street, I think, was like a 99 cents or something like that. This is two fifty. Um, it was half off. The Hitman's 2 Silent Assassin for the original Xbox. Another 250 original Xbox game only on Xbox. Ho ho ho. Apparently it was 30 bucks back in the day. A Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. Red Faction 2. This was like 250, I think. This was 250 Secret Service for the PS2. Uh, <laughs> this is like an impulse buy, but it was only 99 cents. It says 199, but it, like I said, it was half off. So 99 cents for Friends, the one with all the trivia. Might pop that in for a Gaming with Steven episode just for shits and giggles. That's on PS2, obviously. Evil Dead Fistful of Boomstick. I love Evil Dead, it's awesome. So, yeah, I'll probably be playing that sometime soon. That's for the original Xbox. I don't know how to say this. E. Reagan? Kragan? E. Reagan? Um. By Sierra. E. Reagan, that's it. Um. Yeah. Uh, another 215 game. Fallout 3. I forget how much this one was. Oh, $2. Or no, that was 99 cents because it was half off too. This was another 99 cents, the Witcher Enhanced Edition. I don't remember how much this was. But it was... Something. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 
4 Wii Edition, obviously on the Wii, and Mario Super Sluggers on the Wii. Now, there's some, a few donations. This one's from my grandma, Heroes of the Pacific, for the PlayStation 2. Didn't have it, so grateful for that. Psy Ops the Mind Gate Conspiracy for original Xbox. This is by Jacob. And Diddy Kong Racing DS, also given to me by Jacob. Yes? Break. What? Break. Okay, whatever. Um, then this case. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Liberty City uh, map for GTA 4. And wet. This is all given to me by dad. Uh, so yeah, that's the long run. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.